I'm here with Chu Linger, who's a, a five-time Kona finisher and a four-time 70.3 finisher. As you're the national record holder in Singapore for the both men and women category and a role model to women, what would be your best advice for women and youngsters up and coming for in triathlon? Never let anyone actually tell you what you can or cannot do. Don't let them put a um, roof or limit to what you can achieve. Because I believe like um, a year or two years ago, people were saying that, oh, Linga has reached her limit. But I never believe in that because I, I feel that human body can do more. And it's very amazing um, what I have achieved during training. I believe that I can use that during race to achieve more and more. And I can do so much more um, in the future. And I have so much more potential in the next few years. And what motivates you to keep pushing? Um, for me, um, it's very different because I have a very bad accident which is exactly 10 years ago. I broke both my legs and my life basically paid a uh, course for 8 months. So during that period, I, I really want to swim back down but I couldn't. So right now, I'm using it as a motivation. So anytime I feel very tired in the morning, I just think of the days that I couldn't train. Next thing, I'll be out training no time. Smiling even when I'm uh, suffering. You know, I, I enjoy doing this. I want to do this. Yeah. And speaking of smiling, what, tell us about your work with Smile Asia. Oh yeah, yeah. it's um, it's a non profitable charity foundation in um, Singapore. I'm, I'm actually helping them promote awareness, and they actually send um medical teams out to developing countries to actually fix kids that have um, athletes. I did a mission for them a week and it was really life changing for me and I totally believe in it and I want to help the kids, you know, to be able to smile again and to give them a second chance because um, when you look at a person, the first thing you look is the face of her, so they need to have a second chance. As you been through uh, your accident and also uh, about the 500 kilometer ride you did for Small Asia. Uh, how do you embrace pain and, or, and challenges? How do you um, overcome the big challenges like that? Um, I don't feel that pain is pain. Mm. I feel that when pain hit me, it's more like. Um, life experience and getting to know myself better um, you face a lot of um, talking to yourself and understanding yourself and getting yourself to get through hurdles when you are hit with pain and being uncomfortable so every time when i do a challenge or i set a challenge for myself or the next challenge and things like that i always look forward i i i don't I don't think of the end result but I think of the experience that I'm going through and the things I'm going to learn and take out of it you know that is the main important because at the end the results right um, it's only just a result you know just a number just a timing but what you gain out of it is more and what you can use it in the future yeah what would you normally do for recovery after a race or a tough session? I always enjoy hanging out with my with my puppy, mm. which we adopted like last year in November. Right yeah. now, recovery walk and bringing out for a nice dinner, picnic, and it helps me, you know, calm down and be chill, and makes me realize that there's a lot more important stuff in life. So, yeah. Do you spoil your puppy? <laughs> Sorry. Do you spoil him? I love cooking for him. <laughs> yeah, I buy a lot of toys for him. And nowadays, when I travel for training camp and races, right, I all the stuff that I buy is for him. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time, Ling. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah.